Understanding Saddle Soreness, an English Phrase Explained. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase, saddle soreness. This phrase might sound a bit unusual, especially for those who are new to English. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. So, let's get started. Saddle soreness is a term that originally comes from horseback riding. When someone rides a horse for a long time, they might experience discomfort or pain in the areas of the body that contact the saddle. This is known as saddle soreness. But, this phrase isn't just limited to horse riding. In modern usage, it can also refer to discomfort caused by any prolonged activity that involves sitting or pressing against something, like cycling. It's a way to describe the physical discomfort or pain due to extended periods of such activities. Now, let's see how we can use this phrase in our daily language. Imagine you've been cycling for a long time, and you feel discomfort. You can say, I'm feeling a bit of saddle soreness after that long bike ride. It's also common to use this phrase metaphorically. For example, if you've been sitting for a long period, perhaps during a long meeting or a flight, and you feel uncomfortable, you might say, I'm getting saddle soreness from this long meeting. Like many English phrases, saddle soreness can have some variations. People might say they are saddle sore or have saddle sores, which refers to the actual sores or skin irritations that can develop from prolonged sitting or riding. And that's all about saddle soreness. We hope this video has been informative and has added a new phrase to your English vocabulary. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about culture and history, and phrases like these carry a story with them. Keep exploring and learning, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting language insights. Until next time, happy learning!